Hi gang, today we're going to learn about reverse percentages. <coughs> Calm down, it's not that exciting. Now normally when we do a percentage question, we're given an amount and asked to find a percentage of that amount, like this question. Do you know how to do it? That's right, 10% is 42 and three lots of 42 is $126. Well done. Now a reverse percentage is where we're given a percentage of an amount and asked to find the full amount. Like this question, if 10% of a number is 76, then what is the number? One way to think about it is this, 10% is 76, so what's 100%? Can you see that we need to multiply by 10? So 76 times 10 is 760. Here's another one. If 25% of a number is 33, then what is the number? Let's write it out. 25% is 33. What is 100%? So how do we get from 25% to 100%? We times by four. But whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So here's our answer. 33 times 4 is 132. Let's try one more. If 2% is 45, what is 100%? Okay, let's write it out. 2% is 45. 100% is? We don't know. How do we get from 2% to 100%? We times by 50. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Mmm, 45 times 50. I know, quick maths. Put the zero down, five fives are 25. Put the five down, carry the two. Four fives are 20, plus two is 22. Yay! Yes, Brad, do you have a question? Uh, miss, what if it's not a nice number? That's a great question. Let's try this one then. If 1.75% of a quantity is $11.90, then what is the quantity? So 1.75% is $11.90. How much is 100%? You're right, Brad. I don't know how many 1.75s go into 100. We're going to have to use the unitary method. Here it is. Divide by what you've got times by what you want. Back to our question. Let's take our quantity, which is $11.90, divide by what we've got, which is 1.75%, and times by what we want, which is 100%. But you know what? We don't really need that 100% because that's the same as multiplying by 1. I reckon I'm going to need a calculator. $680. How easy was that? Let's try one more. June receives a pay rise of 2%. Her new wage is $1,275 per day. What was her old wage? Mmm, this one's tricky because $1,275 is not 2%. Let's think about it in terms of percentages. Her old wage was 100%. Her pay rise is 2%. So her new wage must be 102%. Great! So 102% is $1,275. What's 100%? Let's use the unitary method. Take our quantity, 1,275, Divide by what we've got, which is 102%, times by what we want, which is 100%. Remember, we don't need the 100%. Let's use our calculator. 100%. So June's old wage was $1,250. And that's it. We're done. Good job, everybody. Don't forget, you can use normal percentages to check your answers. See ya!